Hello and welcome. Today I have here an HP EliteBook 8570P laptop. And this thing has a cracked screen, broken screen. Probably can't tell on the camera here, but you power it up and it's definitely there. So, I'm going to show you how to replace it. And it's actually not that difficult to do. You could probably be done in 30 minutes to an hour, even never having done this before. Here's the screen I've got from another laptop I had. Now this laptop was dead, bad motherboard, it's bricked, it's already been cannibalized a little bit. But the screen was still good, so I just pulled it right out of here already. And then we're going to swap it with this one. Again, this is an 8570P, but this process should be applicable to many other models, at least in the 8000 series. As far as tools go, all you really need is a set of little screwdrivers and maybe a set of tweezers might make it easy too. I'm going to get started, and I've got it unplugged, obviously you want to do that, but you also want to flip it over, take the battery out, flip it back over, and then press the power button, hold it down for a minute, just drain any kind of residual power you got in there, just to make sure. There are two screws on the front of the screen, but they're covered up, they got little rubber covers on them, so I'm just going to take this small flathead screwdriver, pry these covers off here to expose the screw and then take out two Phillips head screws. With those two screws out, the next thing you want to do is remove this bezel here. And how you do that is get you a small flathead screwdriver and you want to pry it away. I think the easiest way to do it is just get a corner here and get the screw between the gray and the black. Now I got a corner pop loose here and then I'm just going to kind of carefully try and pop the rest of it out, work my way around without breaking it obviously. There we go. And this bezel has some, I guess, paper glue on the other side of it so I just got to kind of work it around. And once you get it started, it's in good shape. Okay, that's out. We'll set that to the side. Now this part's pretty straightforward. You got three screws on each side, Phillips head, and they are located here, here, two more here, two more here. So you got two at the bottom on each side and one at the top on each side. So let me take those out real quick. Down to my last screw, I'm going to move a bottle behind it, just kind of prop the back of this up. Now that my screws are out, the screen is loose, and this is probably the hardest part of the whole process here. Let me pull this out of here. Kind of lay that down. The hardest part is connecting this ribbon cable here. And if you've ever done a, a laptop keyboard, it, it's the same deal, same ribbon cable, but laptop keyboards have like a plastic clip that flips down and allows you to secure it in place. This doesn't. It's taped in there basically. So you want to peel this tape off. And there, see it came out. And then there's our busted screen. Okay, so I got my new, or I should say gently used screen here. I'm just going to put this down so it doesn't get scratched up. And then I'll just give you a shot of this barcode label here. I don't know if that'd be helpful to somebody later for a part number or something like that, but there it is in case you need it. And right there, that's where we're making the connection. So that ribbon cable just slides right up in there. Get it oriented correctly, that's right. I'll flip it down here. I'm pulling this loose a little bit, this wire here. 
if you need some wiggle room. And done. You just slide it in there, just make sure there's no teeth sticking out and it's flush all the way across and you're good to go. You can even add some more tape on there if you want to. I'm just going to fold it right back up here. Tuck my wire back in where it was before. Reattach my screws and start at the top. Okay, now I've got three holes down here because the bezel screws into one of the three. So if you're wondering which ones, the bezel screws into the center hole and you put your screws back in the other holes. Screws are in and it's time to put the bezel back on. But before I do that, I would just like to know that this is working. So I'm going to plug it up and just verify that the screen comes on before I go putting the bezel back on and getting into all that in case I have to take it back apart I think it's a good idea to do this there we go verified working shut it back off and unplug it power button and finish the job I got my bezel here and I'm just gonna kind of work around the webcam and the light and the little latches on the top there you go and just do like you did before just go all the way around it and work your way around pop it back in don't force it might have to wiggle it a little put my two bezel screws back in screw covers and it's done I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching leave me a like if this video helped you out and don't forget to subscribe to see more